Jimbo's first in Bakersfield, California, independent. Good morning to you. Thank you, Greta. Hi, Congressman. Um, the question I wanted to ask you was, have you, Dwight Eisenhower was one of my favorite presidents, and he understood that you have to also raise money to balance a budget. And what I was wondering was, is that do you think maybe it, this is the time to maybe recognize the $32 trillion debt will require raising revenue as well as means testing benefits? So I was wondering if you guys would maybe consider actually looking at some of these huge tax cuts that we have created from Bush forward and maybe rescinding some of them and using some of that money as a good faith gesture to actually pay, pay down some of the debt or at least show good faith in paying down the debt. And the other question I wanted to ask you is, what did you think of Congresswoman Green's presentation yesterday at the uh, committee hearing that we uh, saw on Hunter Biden's taxes? and whether or not Hunter Biden's name could be replaced with any other rich and famous person. And that's sort of the two-tier tax system that we're talking about, that the rich and famous would not be called up on any of the felony charges, but people like Hunter Biden or anyone else who's rich and famous will get a pass and get the misdemeanors. Anyway, thank you so much. And Brian Lamb, you are my hero. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I, I frankly don't care about Hunter Biden's peccadilloes and his uh, 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 lifestyle uh, and, uh, and for that matter, even his, his taxes. I do care very much as to whether he was acting as a bagman in a bribery scheme uh, that was going on for years, trading on the influence of the then vice president, his father, uh, for uh, uh, millions of dollars uh, going into their pockets, and particularly where the, that money uh, ended up benefiting uh, uh, Joe Biden. I do care very much about that, and I do care very much that like cases be treated the same. And when I see the double standard uh, of justice applied uh, in Hunter Biden's case, uh, I am infuriated, and I think every American should be, wherever they are on the political spectrum. Um, you know, with respect to your question over, well, let's raise taxes to reduce the debt. Well, you can raise tax rates, but that doesn't necessarily raise tax revenues. We discovered that, by the way, with the uh, tax cuts during the Trump administration. We cut taxes dramatically, one of the biggest tax cuts in American history. The average uh, American saved about $3,500 of their earnings. That did so much good to the economy. There was such an expansion of the economy as a result of those tax cuts. We actually ended up collecting more tax revenues. That's the, the dirty little secret of, 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 of taxation. We've seen rates as high as the 90 percent. I think you referenced that during the Eisenhower administration. We've seen very low tax rates uh, in the 30 and 40 percent uh, range. Um, but our tax revenues have always been fairly steady between about 13 and 20 percent. We're about maxed out on our revenues right now. 19 to 20 percent of GDP is what we're bringing in in taxes. So you can raise the tax rates. But what you may end up discovering is that in, that lowers productivity, uh, that uh, uh, increases tax avoidance activity, uh, and uh, and ultimately brings you less revenues. Um, and don't forget, um, uh, taxes are not a remedy to debt. Taxes and debt are the ways you pay for spending. Uh, to use that old uh, Clinton era uh, maxim, uh, it's the spending, stupid. Uh, it re, uh, when you uh, are, are uh, once you've spent a dollar as a government, you've already decided to tax that dollar. Government cannot put a dollar into the economy that it first doesn't take out of the same economy, and it takes it out as taxes, which reduces your current standard of living, or it borrows that money, uh, and um, uh, uh, you uh, have to end up paying it back plus enormous interest costs. Uh, in the meantime, and it crowds out capital uh, that would otherwise be uh, available for consumer uh, borrowing. Uh, so taxes and spending are simply the ways you pay, or taxes and, and debt, I should say, are the two ways you pay for spending. It's the spending, stupid. That's what we've got to bring under control. Carolyn, Georgetown, Delaware, Republican. 
Um, well, I I have a couple comments about the hearing yesterday. Uh, one, I'd like to know if committee plans on subpoenaing the seven people that attended the meeting that Shipley referred to uh, about how they were going to charge Hunter Biden. Uh, Hunter Biden. And then secondly, um, all these callers are saying there's no evidence here. There's no evidence there. It's a joke. Um, the evidence started with the quid pro pro quo from Biden in the Ukraine with the with the billion dollars that they are or not going to get if they do or do not fire the prosecutor. And secondly, uh, they the the two whistleblowers have said they have receipts. Uh, for rooms with Joe Biden's name on them. So, and, and thirdly, the fact that they didn't or were not able to interview Hunter Biden, the primary suspect of their investigation, is purely an admission of guilt by whoever told them they could were not allowed to interview Hunter Biden. It just makes no sense that they're not allowed to interview the individual they're investigating. And that, to me, is an omission of guilt. The Bidens are guilty. He needs to be impeached. Okay. Garland needs to be impeached. All right, Carolyn, let's get the congressman's reaction. Should the attorney general be impeached over this? Well, impeachment requires treason, bribery, or other high crimes and misdemeanors. Uh, uh, treason is very specifically defined in the Constitution as waging war against the United States uh, or adhering to their enemies, uh, giving them aid and comfort. You need a war for treason, so it's not that. Bribery is pretty clearly defined, and what has been alleged uh, clearly fits that definition. Uh, but th that's not the conduct of the Attorney General, that's the conduct of the President. The question of other high crimes and misdemeanors, it has to be a crime, it has to be related to the office. The, 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 the American founders were very clear on those points. Um, so it's not clear to me that uh, Merrick Garland, uh, that there's been any impeachable offense uh, that Merrick Garland has been charged with. But the evidence is beginning to mount of a systematic bribery effort within the Biden family involving Joe Biden and his official duties. That, if it's true, becomes the, the, the greatest uh, uh, scandal in American history. And I do think that one way or another, the truth will out. Uh, uh, I hope it's not true, but the evidence is mounting that it is. What is the evidence? Well, the evidence starts with the, the Hunter Biden laptop, the complaints that he made in emails to his uh, sister that uh, uh, half of his salary was going to his, uh, his father, uh, the 10 percent being held for the big guy uh, in the memos uh, in, involving the uh, uh, China influence peddling. Um, those are pretty clear admissions. And, and, and I have one other question as a public servant. Uh, you know, I've been in the Congress for 15 years. Uh, I can guarantee you, you cannot get rich in, in Congress unless you're a crook. And uh, uh, th that's actually something that uh, Harry Truman once said. Um, uh, you can't get uh, 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 wealthy in, in, in politics in, unless you're dishonest. Uh, he's become fabulously wealthy, and it's not entirely clear to me how he can do that on a congressional